spark to start. Starts with a wide one. And the umpire I think it is okay. I'm just saying that from where the wicket keeper takes this. Moves a lot. This time, he's thinking, I'm going to play at it. If you're not going to give him up, he said, I will use my bat. Bowler. He's got so many tricks up his sleeves. But this time, well, this has been stopped by Rico Fulk. And this one's not the best of deliveries. And the fielder, he's taken one on the shin, and the ball will go over the boundary line. Firmly hit. Oh, this was too hot and too spicy to handle for the fielder. It's nicely played, and it's a good bit of fielding. In comes the throw. And, uh, oh, well, thankfully, there is some backing up there behind the first field. The ball still rolling. Two games in one. First of all, it's a lovely pickup. In comes the throw. And uh, you have to have a go. And I think if this is direct, it would have been curtains for MSP. Even his long legs and long reach going to get him there. Up in the air, shouts to catch it. But I think you've got to stop it first. It's, uh, well, I don't know if they've stopped this. If they have, this is incredible. Now, the question for me is, is does the fielder plant any part of his body outside the field of play before contact is made. Keep an eye on this. Where does he hit this from? And I think that is okay. The foot is in the air. The ball stays. That is a great bit of work. Well, we've seen that uh, on two occasions the fielders should have stopped it. And one of those men that should have done better last time is in action there. That is a really good bit of fielding. Overpitched. And he's got to be quick here again. They have another go. And uh, this is a direct hit, or is this the is this the bowler breaking the stumps? I think it may. Is this a hand of the bowler? Me initially, I thought it was the bowler. That's not the stumps. Over, have a look. Keep an eye on those stumps. Where's the ball? Oh no! I think the ball does hit direct. Have a look, and keep his hand. That's the ball hitting direct. I think he's out here. MSP free hit. Sound the horn. He hits it leg side, but. Doesn't get too much on it. Oh, no, he's fallen down a wormhole. What's happened here? Oh, this is in the air. This isn't a free hit. So this is going to be curtains for Big D. He's going to have to go. So it is Balvinda that has the last laugh in the end. He went to the well once too often. Does his job, though, I think, at the top of the order. Now, he'll be disappointed to depart at that stage. So Balvinda, he's had the Midas touch more often than not today. This is whacked, and it's going to be away from the fielder. And I think this is going to be for Akibikbal. He tries to leg it down, but he won't be able to catch that one. Akbojan goes offside then. She won't take no more pictures of you. Hit hard, trying to get it through the gap, and will. This is a thunderbolt of a shot. Just make sure I've got my, take my tablet. And this one is going to take a while to get back. Well, that's launch, and it's bounced off the fence and almost come all the way back to the middle. I mean, that's how hard he's hit that one. And that fence, well, let's just say it's seen better days. It might not last a lot longer if Akbajan is going to keep hitting balls like this. Wants to go again. And this one is going to be touching, though. I think it's going to go all the way. Maximo. Back to back. Akbajan taking the game on and winning at the moment. Back to back sixes to start the sixth over. And there uh, goes for another one. Chase on for the fielder. And they're not going to get there. And wow, wow. wow, that is gone. Well, watch out, watch out. This is going in the directions of Edwards. Well, Edwards, he was doing the old dancing the other day with his shades on. He's a real uh, disco diva. Well, he's got to be ducking this one. And this has been whacked. It's gone a long way. Shaba, shaba, kinna, sona, shaka, Yeah, Well, the fielder's out there. He's found it. Well done to a keep field at the moment and Akbajan wants to go after this but this is miles in the air fielder goes right back but he's not going to get it Maximo Akbajan he's a bit of a run machine and he's loving this win today this one he gets it up in the slipstream I don't know it's into the stratosphere or whatever's up there on the charge this one sliced up it should be a simple catch and it's taken well, a bit of the crocodile style but still it is a safe catch. <laughs> That's why he takes it crocodile <laughs> style. He can't take it orthodox. We saw you. We saw you. We got it. Well, the umpire can't take it either. But look, he says, uh, I take it crocodile because crocodile dandy, no problemo. This hit hard at us, and that's coming all the way. Maximal. Well, I don't even think I'm going to bother looking for that. That one was whacked straight. Zadran, he is a powerful striker. I told you, look, misses the length by a metre and a half.
And this one's whipped away nicely. And this one's going to be six as well. Maximo. And he gets a big filthy full toss, but he hasn't quite got it. But I think he's got enough. And he has Maximo. It's ball. Well, well, well how's this was, got here? This is going to be a wide. And I always say, well, if it's going to be a wide and you play at it, well, hit it to the boundary. Now he tries, and this one, I don't think it's quite the 200, but it's just enough. It's Maximo time. Strap myself in. He wants more, and this time he whacks it, but it's higher than it is long. Iqbal is coming around, and he drops it, and he drops it for four. And that might be a nasty one off the end of the finger. There was just a little bit of doubt about who was going to catch that, but I've always felt it was Akeebs going to his right. He just had to turn. He's been... So good today in the field, but he can't pull off the magic this time. And even worse, it goes to the boundary for four. Exactly, last ball. And this one is also smashed. And I don't know where this is going to land. We'll never find that one. He just hits it and walks off like it's nothing. Maximo to finish Zadran with 42, not out of 15. And have a look, as soon as he hits this, he uh, is just walking off and he says, I don't care where that's landed. And I tell you what, he pretty much had his pads off by the time that bounced because that went a long way. And Vienna CC bringing it in the first innings of match number four. Crossed-handed bandit. He's out there with uh, his captain, Yusuf. This is sort of angled into Bowinda. Plays it on the onside. Whatever it is, this is smash out of here. Bale, 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 kinna, sona, shaka, lagya. Against cross hand bandit, who whacks one down the ground. This will be four as well. To start, he starts the big top edge. And I think this one's going to fall safely. It will. And where does it fall? I think it's gone all the way. Maximo. This time he's just going to whack it straight. He's going to get four more. Well, at the moment, it's an exhibition. And he's gone. This time it's the big D that does the trick as he removes Hassan Yusuf from the equation. He gets full and straight. Maybe a slight slower ball from X-10, but he does knock over the ACT captain. He goes for just the single. It's the first wicket for Vienna CC. Austrian Cricket Tigers, 26 for one. Oh, this one's top finish, though, as it's going to be escorted out of the ground. Maximo Imanasif. Well, once again, Big D gets lost in the bushes. Last ball. And that's the end of the power play. It's 34 for one. Well, this one's coming straight at us. And oh. oh, what a good catch that is by Arsene Arif. And he takes that to his right. And he takes it so easily as well. That was not an easy catch for a minute. That is top quality outfielding. The VCC recruiting machine has got Arsene Arif out in yellow and they're happy they have because look, that's a big wicket to take. In Austria, slower delivery. He goes for it, it's up in the air, but is it gonna go all the way? It does. Boom, shaka, lagya. Mirza is gonna go launch again and this one's gone as well. well it's over a tall giraffe. But he's going to have to go fetch that Maximo back-to-back. -back. Mirza has come out and he's kept the pace up. He's gone six and six of his first two balls. See this ball first. Bold him and this has bounced off his pads and it's flicked the stumps. So that's a big wicket at this stage. Mirza was aiming to clip this one away on the leg side, but he got himself in a bit of a muddle, didn't he? And he ended up being a human battering ram as the ball bounces off the pads onto the... Edge of the off stump, I think. And so Akbar Jant, well, once again, he's the money man, isn't he, for VCC? We down the leg stump. Now, this time, it's sliced in the air. It should be caught, and it is caught. So, there we go. Another big wicket this time. It's Imran Asif that's going to have to go. So, VCC trying to avenge their loss in match three. And right now, they are in the box seat. That's four big hitters back in the sheds. Falls back, and he smacks this high. But it could be a chance. Quinton Norris has called for it, and he will take the catch. And does he hold on? Yes, he has. So what a good catch that is by the veteran. Oh, repair your divots. Uh, Quinton, that was good wicket keeping. He decided that uh, it was his and he was going to have to get there. And he did. Uh, so what a, a nice, nice bit of work in the field defensively. I think. This is a challenge length, though, and it's going to be the batter that's up to the challenge. Full straight again. Jeez, he's hit this so well. And Arif is going to do very, very well to knock this down. Saves two runs there. Amazing outfielding. 
He's already pulled out a great bit of work in the air, but that was probably just as good as that was really motoring towards the boundary. But Arslan said, no, 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 I'm going to make sure I cut this off. At first, I'm going to see another wicket because this is straight Don. down the throat of Arif who drops oh, it. And no I way. don't know how he's never, dropped that. Never, never. All right, yeah. I, I've lost my house <laughs> because my mortgage was on that catch. <laughs> I put it on there. Arslan, I've, I've lost my house because of you. Unbelievable. Uh, There's no way you can drop uh, Arslan. Yeah. I think he's trying to say he got put off there. Last ball, the over. And this one is pounded out of the ground. So what a way to finish the over. That over had pretty much everything, didn't it? But yeah. Umet Tariq finishes it with a wallop. He moves to 19. Eight overs down. It's 89 for five. And this is so high. Well, who wants this? Well, Big D is going to make a play, and he's going to take it. Well, the gravitational force of the Big D pulling that one into his zone. And uh, Haider, well, you can't really fault him for his approach. He tries to go large. It was their only play, needing a couple of magical overs. But MSP, Simpson Parker, he's been brilliant here towards the end of this innings. And the batter just losing his shape there. Gets skied. And so that will be a wicket in the ninth over. Six down now. Champions yet. Well, this is a really nice shot. He gets danced on and gets hit out of the ground. Maximo! Goes for this, and it's a little push, and it's going to go out of the ground. Maximo! And so what a, a good way. Just a little push out of the ground, really. These guys are so good at timing the cricket ball, even when you get into the middle order. This one will be a six, I think. It's going, it's going, it's gone. Maximo! All right, wants to go again, but I don't think this one has the carry, and it will be taken. So, yeah, ACT... Throwing the bat to the end. But it'll be Tariq that's going to go for 13. Akbajan, just another wicket. Put it with the rest. And so, it's running out of steam. And, uh, yeah, looking at Javid Zadran in that first innings, he's probably the difference between these two teams ultimately because he had a chance and went on with it when so many have whacked a few and got out. Come Pumps. off. The bales yeah. don't come off. It hits, hits the heavy base, and that's why the bales don't come off. And uh, so... <laughs> Now we'll get to the last ball. Look, we've had, oh, I mean, including this one, we call it a close game. I call it fairly close. I mean, um, but three and a half real close games here on day one. Ultimately, it will be BCC that will get some revenge on ACT, and they're going to win this one 135 to 116.